Here now with our friend Henry Winkler. Most of us first saw him as the Fonz in Happy Days, his breakout role in a stellar acting and directing career, most recently winning an Emmy for Barry. Now he's written a new memoir, Being Henry. Henry, thank you for coming back. I'm so happy to you're, be you're, here. You're dressed in full writer mode today. Yes. You have yeah. yeah. patches. But I, I, I thought this jacket was so beautiful. It's brand new. Well, thank oh. you for dressing up, Rush. You look great. <laughs> you bet. Tell us about the book. The book, my son Max, for years, said, Dad, you should tell stories. You should put a, a, a memoir together. I said, I'm dyslexic. I can't do that. So I understood how to write the children's books mm. with a partner. Yeah. And that worked out really well. So I found uh, a wonderful man by the name of James Kaplan. And we did the same thing. I didn't realize I had to invite him to California and put him up and, and <laughs> feed him three times. Oh, yeah. And the man is an eater. Can I tell you? The three meals, three meals a day. But anyway, we talked for 70 hours. He molded it. I rewrote it. I added. Mm -hmm. He then, and then I, and then it's a book. No, it's right. a collaboration like that. Big week for you. You got the book coming out tomorrow, and it's your birthday today. Yes, happy birthday. Is. Thank you. But we're not the only ones who want to wish you a happy birthday. Oh. I think you might recognize this person right here. First of all, happy birthday. I'm sure you're having a great time there on Good Morning America, as you always do. But secondly, your memoir. Thank you for sending me the copy. I read it. I loved it. I'm sharing it with the family. It's remarkable. Uh, and you know, there, there was a lot that I learned about you that I didn't know, and I frankly thought that was impossible. Great work. Thank you for sharing your story. Uh, and have a great day. Love you. Yeah, <laughs> Ron you. Howard, of course. That's got to wow. mean a lot. So, 50 years of history. We had a dinner at our house. Ron and his wife, I met them before they got married. He had a redheaded daughter. Well, I did a play in 2000 where, uh, for um, uh, Neil Simon. I took her out, uh, Bryce, out to lunch. She said, there's a guy in my class. How am I going to get him to pay attention? Uh. He then married her. Oh. Oh. Their children. My daughter married within months of Bryce, also red hair. Her children at the table, 50 years wow. of history. Wow. Yeah. And there's no way you could have imagined the impact 50 no. years ago no. playing that role would have on your life. All you can do is be in the moment and enjoy and, and, and make people laugh. Yeah. The, the show was a comedy. In Barry, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I, I had to get a flashlight because it was so dark. I had to, <laughs> Bill, where it's are true. you? It's true, it's so You know, good Bill Hader, where are you? The Fonz was such a huge character. Yeah. Did you ever feel trapped by him? I never felt trapped by him. I understood that I thought I could beat the, um, beat the odds mm -hmm. of typecasting. And you can't. You know, when I met my wife, she had a four-year-old son, uh, Jed. I was a candle on his cake before <laughs> I ever so got funny. to the door. Wow. He went, hi, Fonz. And I, with all of the charm of nothing, I said, <laughs> I said, uh, my name is Henry. Would you like it if I called you Ralph? I'm now arguing with a four-year-old <laughs> in order not to be typecast. <laughs> I'm just a losing battle. Henry. Yes. So he is now my son. And, uh, but it, it, he gave me the Fonz. You know, I'll tell you something. When you look at the, uh, the cover of the book, it is Henry on the front and Fonz on the back. And the Fonz is so generous. Mm -hmm. He gave me notes. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. He read it and then he said, I would, I would like cut this whole section right out. Oh, I'm not I kidding. can't get enough. I can't get enough. Yeah, he said, what are you doing like that? And, and, and that picture on the front, what kind of hair is that? <laughs> He's tough, but lovable. Yeah. And let's talk about another role that you just absolutely ate up in Barry. You were there oh. since day one with Bill Hader. If it's not on the page, it's not on the stage. That, that the companies and the actors and the writers have such a hard time <clears throat> coming together. The writer is the beginning and the end. Everybody has something to hang their hat on if the writing is good. And it was that and good. Barry was like a like a gift from yeah. the, the heavens. And we only have a few seconds left. Uh, we got to bring in the cake. Oh yes. <laughs> 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 
while I've got the cake. You I'm heard the chocolate bun cake in your book. You talk I, about. No, no, no. How... I really do. I personally, I oh. love bun cake. <laughs> Well, he knows we're running out of time. I'm very, I'm very happy with the bun cake. <laughs> but I just want to that. say that I also have this wonderful children's book called The Detective Duck that came out 14 days. So you can get both of them tomorrow, being Henry and the Fonz, yeah, and Beyond is available okay. tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.